This is the power of it. Don't you settle for less. If you just give your best, then you will have success. Good morning, first grade. I hope everybody still continue to be safe and healthy. Okay. Mr. Is Mr. McNeil here again with our lesson for the week is focusing on objects in the sky. Hmm. I wonder what could be what could be discussed about in this lesson about objects in the sky because remember the sky takes it has two different two different phases a day phase when its sun is out and then it has a night phase when the moon is out. Hmm. I wonder what this lesson is going to be about. Hmm. Let's get to it. So you see, our standard for this week is being able to use observations of the sun, moon, as well as the stars to describe patterns that can be predicted. OK, so based on objects that are occurring in the sky with the sun, moon and stars, scholars will be able to understand what's going on with the stars based off their patterns. The objective of the lesson was students or scholars will be able to identify and describe patterns in the sky. So my, you see my standard and objective do tie in hand in hand. Our initial goal is to be able to understand what's occurring in the sky. Okay, scholars, let's make sure we're paying attention and being mindful of our daily norms of the list of our lesson. Okay, rule number one being I, you'll participate during each lesson. I'm asking that people either raise their hand or for me or Ms. Captain, let us know that you're listening and I want you to participate the entire duration of the lesson. I can use my listening ears. We know listening ears are important through every lesson. So we're making sure that our listening ears are good and ready to go. Our thinking cap, make sure your thinking cap is recharged. Make sure that. The battery's good. Make sure you're resting so your thinking cap is always good to go. You're able to have fuel to ask any questions for me or Ms. Captain or relative to the lesson. And last but not least, I want us to always have fun when we're doing the lesson, okay? If you take a look at our vocabulary for the week, you'll see that it focuses on items that you might see in the sky, whether during the day or whether at night, okay? So our first word is moon. The moon is an object that resembles a small planet. So usually when we see in the sky, we'll see that the moon usually goes through different stages, four different stages that the moon goes through. Anybody that can tell me that, hmm, that would be a fun fact for everybody that we can share. But the moon does go through four different phases. I'm looking for a scholar that can tell me what those four phases might be. You might have to use your, use your tablet or computer to figure that one out. Okay, the next one is the sun, okay? The sun is a huge star. And it resembles, it's not a planet because nobody lives on the sun. But just know that the sun is our biggest star. We need it for light. It gives us energy as well. Okay? To magnify something means to enlarge it in fact or in appearance. Okay? So if we magnify something, it means that we kind of zoom in on it. Okay? A telescope is an object used to magnify objects or images within space. So when you look in a telescope, you'll be able to see certain stars, certain planets, Mm, certain things in the sky that you're not able to see without the telescope. So the telescope kind of magnifies your vision or makes it a little bit better for you to see things in the sky, whether that's at day or at night. Okay. An astronaut is our next word. Uh, that's a person who travels beyond the Earth's atmosphere. So beyond the Earth's atmosphere is above the clouds. This is somebody that, that kind of ventures out into space. This is the person that goes to different planets, see if it's different life, different resources that we can bring back to Earth. Okay. Planets. The planets are a large body that revolve around the sun within our solar system. So our solar system consists of eight planets, and they all revolve around the sun every day. Okay? And our last vocabulary word would be phases. Okay? A, fa a phase is the particular appearance or state um, in which an object cycles. Okay? So it might cycle through a certain, certain number of changes. That's just a different phase. Okay? So we, I want you, you see our astronaut friend in the corner up there. He's asking to remind you guys to just practice your words with somebody at home, with yourself, write them on note cards, just so you're familiar with these, these couple vocabulary words for our lesson for this week. So let's take a look here at some examples of objects that we probably see in the sky on a daily basis when we're walking home from school or even when we're just looking at our window. So we see we have planes, clouds, smoke, pollen from flowers, and we even see birds throughout the day. Hey scholars, you'll see for our first task of the week it is entitled our daily weather journal. Okay, so for this week, I'm asking that you simply do this on a sheet of paper if you're doing it on paper or an index card just to have some kind of journal entry 
that you're being taken on um, a daily. Okay, so I'm going to ask that you know if you observe the sun, the moon, the stars, and the clouds. So notice I said the moon and the clouds and the stars. That means that you can be conducting this observation during the nighttime or during the day. Okay, and then at the bottom, I'm asking you to answer this question. I'm asking you to answer this question. How is the morning sky similar to the night sky? So what's one thing you notice during the day that you notice at night? Make sure you just jot that down so you can tell me or Miss Kaplan about it when we when we ask about questions about objects in the sky. Here you'll see Mr. M provide an example of task number one that I'm asking you to do on a separate sheet of paper or a blank paper, whatever you have access to right now. Okay? So for our task of this lesson, when it comes to doing your daily weather journal, I'm asking scholars to kind of compose it in this order, okay? So where it says I observe, and then there's the four boxes under it that say sun, moon, stars, clouds, and the last box, which is for extra stuff you might see in the sky, that is one day. So you'll check off whether you see the sun, the moon, the stars, or the clouds, and anything else you might see in the sky, and then you're answering that question. How is the morning sky similar to the night sky? So you're gonna do this every one for every day. If you do it in the morning, you don't have to do it at night for the top part, but at the bottom, you do still have to mention how the morning sky is similar to the night sky. Remember, similar means the same, okay? I'm looking for things that are the same, okay? So being mindful of how things change. So that means that next time you do this, your, your next observation, it'll say the afternoon sky is most similar to. So is it most similar to the night, the morning sky or the night sky? And then you see for our third day, it's saying, how is the night sky different from the morning sky? So you see the word different, that means not the same. So remember, your first day is how was how are the morning sky and night sky similar? Second day is the afternoon sky similar to the night sky or the day sky? And then our third day, how was the night sky different from the morning sky? Okay. So make sure we're being mindful of the words. We're only focusing on the how they're the same the first day. The afternoon sky is the most likely similar to the day sky or the night sky and then for the third day i'm just simply asking that you you tell me and miss kaplan how the night sky is different from the um, day sky okay here you see i provided a little example on the right side of what our second task of the day is going to be for sunset observations okay so max and scholars to conduct this um, or compete complete this in their science notebook a piece of paper if they have one i really recommend that you guys kind of get a, a science notebook just to have all the stuff in it so you guys are able to flip right through it and find it easily okay so before this activity i'm actually do this on a separate sheet of paper so my example is so we're doing it for today for example what day of the week is today hmm. today is tuesday okay so remember when we answer the question we answer it in complete sentences so what day of the week is today? So today for me doing this, today is Tuesday. Okay. What does the sunlight, what does the sunset look like today? The sunset looks kind of, it kind of looks really low today. Being that today was really cloudy. We didn't really get a lot of sunshine. There were periods of sun, but the sunset really looks um, not as bright as it usually is based off the clouds. Okay. So I was able to answer the first two questions. And then I want to draw up in the in the box what I would see. Okay, so I could draw the sun on the clouds. I want you guys to use as many colors as you can with this. Whatever you see in the sky, whatever color the sky is as the sun is setting. Remember, the sunset is when the sun is going down, not when the sun is coming up. Okay, so you're going to draw what you see. Okay, before we even complete this whole task, remember the first two things we do: we write our name as well as the date. Okay, with our name and date, me or me, Ms. Captain, or any other teachers can't identify your work. So remember, before we even start this, name, date, and then answer the two questions, and then move into your picture, okay? Remember, your picture should be done last. Your picture should be detailed, with color, done neatly. Don't rush through it, okay? Okay, we've got to that time of the lesson now where we're going to think back to what our objective was of the lesson. Hmm. Was the objective of, the, of today's lesson met? Okay. Are you able to answer the following questions that I have provided here on the slide for you? So are you able to locate three to four items in the sky by simply stepping outside your front door right now or simply looking out the window? If you're able to do this, I ask that you tell either your sibling or your parent or somebody that's around you right now that's in your house, three or four things that you could say or see in the sky. You don't have to write it down, 
But just know next week when we get on the call, I'm going to be asking a couple friends um, to tell me some items that they might have seen in the sky or some objects they've seen in the sky, okay? All right, so that's what you have to do. If you're able to tell me three to four objects in the sky that you're able to, to uh, identify, then you're able to identify objects that are in the sky, okay, based off this lesson. Okay, scholars, for our third task of the week, it's going to come down to being a Venn diagram that you're simply going to have to do on a blank piece of paper, notebook paper, doesn't matter. So what I did was I took a picture on the right, the example that is going to look like, very simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to write your name at the top because we always start with our name. Then you're going to make two circles. We've done a Venn diagram before in, in class, so this is be something that we should be familiar with. But if not, what you do is you take one circle where it says day sky, you'll make one circle, and then you'll make a circle that says night sky, and they kind of meet or shake hands in the middle. Okay? What I did was I added two, two objects under each. Um, for the, so during the day sky, you see we see in the sky we see sun and bees. At night, I say in the sky you see bats and the moon. And then in the middle, either it's day or night, you see birds as well as bees. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take add a blank piece of paper, write your name, two circles, day sky over one circle, night sky over the other, join them in the middle. And I want you to list at least three to four things for each if you can, okay? So that's three th three to four things for day sky, three to four things that something you see in the night sky, and three to four things that you might see in the day sky and the night sky, okay?